Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going over my price picks plays for tonight's game between the Raiders and the Chiefs. Let's get into it to bounce back from yesterday's prize picks. Now, I hope you guys all had a good day. Let's look forward to tonight's game. Should be a good one. We've seen some high scores between these two teams. The Chiefs have crushed in terms of just putting up the points against the Raiders over the last couple of years, and that should continue again this year. So, as always, if you enjoy the videos, appreciate the like button, subscribe if you have not already. Got five props for you guys. Do a lot better than yesterday. First prop that I like is we are going to be taking a couple of over receiving yard props. And we're starting with Josh Jacobs over 18 and a half receiving yards. So last couple of games, he's gotten you well over 30, 31 in each of the previous two games. His snap counts has was at one of the highest points of the season last year. They kind of used him in some third down situations as well. Play 89% of the snaps last week and he had his best game of his career I'd say against uh, the Broncos uh, going for almost 38 fantasy points I believe on DraftKings but he's averaging almost 27 in his last five games he had a couple of misses here but if they're not going to be using Bolden as much in third down passing situations a lot of that will be going to Josh Jacobs instead and he has the ability to catch the ball so in what should be a game where they're going to be most likely trailing and going to have to throw a lot Seems like a pretty good prop to take the over. Another one that I like is taking the over 40 and a half receiving yards on Marquez Valdez Scantling. This one you might as well get in before um, we get the bump, potential bump if Juju Smith Schuster is ruled out. But nevertheless, I still think he's a pretty solid option if you look at the snap counts. Him and Juju Smith Schuster has been kind of uh, dominating the wide receiver touches. You have a couple of guys mixed in. Last week we saw Sky Moore get his most snaps of the year at 22, played 28%, but Valdez Scaling has been pretty much leading this group, playing just under 70% of the snaps in week number four against the Bucks, and week number three, he played 78, so hey, last week they were able to run the ball a little bit more in the second half, just with how much of a lead they had against the Bucks, but 40 and a half in what should be kind of a potential shootout, but especially for the Chiefs, they love to throw the ball, Reed loves to throw the ball. And Mahomes will be looking at Valdez Scantling's way, at least a good amount, I'd say. And then at the bottom, like Sky Moore, depending on the Juju Smith Schuster news, if he's out, then take the over as soon as uh, that news comes out, if it hasn't been taken off the board yet. Looking at overpassing touchdowns, taking over one and a half touchdowns on Derek Carr. If they're going to want to keep up with uh, the Kansas City offense, they're going to need a good game from Derek Carr. If this game has any chance of staying close, he's going to need to. Get his weapons involved. He does get Renfro back, so that'll help him. It was just a Josh Jacobs show last week, so he didn't have any passing touchdowns, but he hit that this in previous three games. And he's hit this in three out of his last four games against the Chiefs. Only one he didn't hit was uh, December of last year, where he just put up where the team just put up nine points, but he did only had one passing touchdown. Uh, but he has been having a lot of attempts against the Chiefs, as you'd expect, just because it's going to be a high-scoring affair, fast-paced, and potentially they're going to be trailing for a lot of the game, so they're going to have to throw to keep up. So over one and a half passing touchdowns on Derek Carr is another pretty solid one. Now we're going to take a couple of over fantasies, uh, starting with the over 12 fantasy for Clyde Edwards-Alaire. I uh, like this prop number. He's been involved not only on the ground, but he's also been involved a lot in the passing situations. At times, if we look at the snap counts for them last week, it was pretty interesting because the rookie running back was a lot more involved than previous weeks, and we saw Jarek McKinnon kind of give way. So we'll see if that's something that uh, is going to happen because last week, Pacheo and McKinnon kind of split the backup running back duties behind Edwards Alaire, who still played about 56%. If we go back to week number three, we saw it was McKinnon who was leading the way, and Pacheo only played 8%. So if we're going to see the rookie get more and more work as the season goes on, and McKinnon kind of taking a back seat, then you know, definitely they have more confidence in Edwards Alaire than Pacheo in terms of catching passes. So that'll help Edwards Alaire's fantasy. It's also going to be utilized probably more in the red zone situations and with how often they score touchdowns. If he does find himself in the end zone, you can pretty much lock him in for hitting the over on this fantasy at 12 only. Did this in four straight games, and his snap counts were the most it was of the season last week, and he played very well. And then the next one would be. Travis Kelsey over 16 fantasy to round us out. Close us out with a 
a player who's dominated the Raiders for much of his career. Three out of the last four games against them, he's gotten you well over. He's gotten you over 100 yards, over 109 yards in three of the, of the four games, and a touchdown in I believe three of the four games as well. Uh, but just crushing, and those were games were with Tyree Kill there. So taking him out, going to be even more looks for Travis Kelsey. This number looks very low. He could hit this by, could clear this by 10. Should be a high-scoring game, especially for the Chiefs' side. At least they should be able to put up points. Raiders, I still think, will put up points. But the Chiefs have shown no signs of slowing down this year. And Kelsey's prop is very low at 16. So that's what I got. I feel pretty good about these five. Josh Jacobs, over 18.5 receiving yards. Marquez Valdez-Scantling, over 40.5 receiving yards. Derek Carr, over 1.5 passing touchdowns. Jer uh, Clyde Edwards-Alaire, over 12 fantasy. Travis Kelsey, over 16 fantasy. Let me know what you guys think. If you have any other props to consider, put them down below in the comments section. Check out Twitter for updates. The website, if you want to join us, we're going to have a lot of sports coming up. So get ready, make some money, build a bankroll. Best of luck, and I will see you all next time.